What's up guys, Shane here from Ugonek 3D Printing and today I'm checking out some Econofill from filaments.c. Welcome back guys. So as I said, we're checking out Econofill from filaments.ca. Now what is Econofill? Econofill is filament.ca's go-to house brand PLA, which a lot of the really big companies have that. Filaments.ca is the largest distributor of 3D printing filament in Canada. So they have a lot of space and they've decided to go this route because they didn't want to sell on Amazon. Amazon has high stock fees and seller fees and things like that that they just didn't want to do. So they're able to bring the cost savings to you, apparently. That's what their website says. This comes in about 16 US dollars a kilogram. That is actually really good price for filament. Uh, again, I didn't know what a kind of fill was. I had to go and check it out. It comes in lots of different colors. This one happens to be silver. And the cost savings start right at the box. This is it. A plain cardboard box with a simple sticker on it. It says it's Econofill by filaments.ca. It's PLA 190 to 230 on the nozzle. It's a kilogram, it's silver. The bed is 60 to 80 C and they give you a batch number for this particular box. Let's dig in and see what it looks like. All right, and here it is. And the spool is not quite the same, but it's a little bit similar to a few others that I've seen. But again, this is apparently their house brand. I did not read, I'm off to check this. I didn't read if they're actually extruding this themselves or if they're just reselling it as their own. I do not know. Again, I'd have to check out their website again and see if they actually go into that. I know they talk about how storing it and keeping it there helps them keep the cost lower. I'd have to see if they're actually making it. So it is a very good seal. Uh, I did get silver here, it seems like. And yeah, it's not a Ziploc bag, but again, with uh, filaments.ca, they actually send you a Ziploc bag with every spool that you get. And they sent me quite a few, so I have a bunch of bags right here that they can use, that you can use, I should say, to go ahead and put this in there. So you can use the desk pack that comes in that bag, including this one, and keep your filament nice and dry. There's the desk pack coming out. And again, just like all the other filaments that I have tested, they have this saran wrap on the outside of it. I still do not know why they do that. The wine is good, not as good as some of their other filaments, but this is not too bad at all. Backside has nothing. This side is the exact same stickers on the outside, Econofill, PLA, the color, the extruder temperature, and the heated bed temperature are all on here, including the batch number. There's no real uh, odor to this one. And it is a, a, it's a nice looking, you know, kind of like gunmetal, a little bit shiny gray, you know? Again, I'm, I'm, I don't know what to expect of this. This is their house brand PLA. This could be really good filament. I don't know. So let's get it on some of the printers and find out how good it actually performs. All right, guys. So this, I'm actually blown away by the quality of this filament. I mean, it runs in about $16 on filament.ca's website. And again, the whole shipping thing because it's in Canada. Uh, keep that in mind. But for their like cheap, PLA, you know, their economy stuff, Econofill. I'm thoroughly impressed. Now, most of this was printed on the GTEC A10 with actually using a new profile that I had just gotten from my buddy John on Facebook, and it's using the Slicer Prusa edition, but he has a GTEC A10 profile created in there, and I'm using his new Marlin software, I think it's 119, uh, whatever it is, the one that he sent me is what I'm using, and uh, it, paired very well. Now I was actually really impressed with how fast that printer could go while still producing quality prints. I mean, all of these came out very well, printed very fast, but came out very well. I only had one issue with all of that, and that was when I tried to do one of Flowlistic's uh, chain mail or this fabric, I guess. Uh, this was just a little sample swatch. It's maybe like two or three by three inches, really small like that. You know, it's only one, two, three, four, five by five lengths. So it's pretty small, but it just really, really failed. And I'll show you guys up close. It just did not print well at all. And I don't know if it's the limitations of the printer. Maybe I just didn't dial it in enough. Maybe I should have did a little bit slower. Uh, the bridging is really what failed on this. And I really don't like the fan on that as it is. 
Uh, I did talk to somebody on Thingiverse and they did redesign their mount. They had made it for an E3D hot end, but now they recreated it for the stock mount. So I'm wondering if that will end up giving me a little bit better cooling as it uses dual 5015 fans. So I do wanna try this again uh, with this filament on another printer, maybe the, the Prusa i3 Mark III, maybe the Cubic i3 Mega. Both of those have really good cooling and should do a good job of it, but um, either way, it just did not work out well. So let's take a closer look at these and see what we can find out. All right, as always, up first, we have my Maker Coin. Again, this is printed on the GTEC A10, and it came out great. This is the first one using that new profile, so it went really, really fast. Quite impressed with that. Over the supports, did a great job. A little bit left over in this one down here, but it's also the way this silvers, it really shows all of the details because it's kind of like a silky-ish finish to it. So you really can see a lot of details. There were no under extrusions anywhere that I could tell. Again, over supports did well. First layers, if as you can see, I mean, that is a beautiful first layer there on all accounts of it. It did really well over the cogs. As you can see, they're all very, very round. Didn't have any flattening anywhere, no problems with that. And it filled in the top very nice. Nice, good, solid top infills. So no issues there. All right, next here I have the, uh, this is from the Trash Walker. And I accidentally, actually printed this one by mistake. I didn't realize it until it was halfway through the print, but I was like, oh, you know what, there's a vase mode print. So yes, it's vase mode, one solid perimeter. It still has the issues here in the top, which every filament's going to have pretty much. There's no way to kind of get over that uh, in a um, in a just single in a vase mode. But bottom layer again, super duper nice. That that super plate is awesome. Great walls, and it, you really can't see many of the layer lines. I mean, if at all, you can see very little bit. It is really really pleasing to look at filament and it has that nice shiny silver color to it. And next, I wanted to print out this little, it's called like the cute dragon on Thingiverse, and this is a 200% scale of the model. And it looks like I did forget to take off one of the supports, or this is one of the things that failed on it. Um, but it has built-in mesh mixer support, so you can kind of see on the bottom all those points where it leads up to, and there's all the other nipples. I cut most of it off, but there's a little bit on the wings. There was a bunch here on these uh, I don't know, parts to the head, whatever you want to call them. But overall, it was a very, very good print. It started out with these four, and the tail and everything was printed completely on support. So I was glad to see that the printer could do it, and the filament held up rather well. This is really hard to print anyway, so just because it's on the under bottoms of it. Again, no under extrusions anywhere, no issues with cooling or anything like that. Everything cooled and printed very well. Now, this is a super fun model. Plus, this is the Flexi Rex model. And I printed him on a lot of different things, uh, or in a lot of different filaments, I should say. But I figured I would try it here in this one. He said it's just like that, super flexible. Never really have to break any of the links. It prints so nicely, and the filament did great. No under extrusions anywhere. Very consistent. I did have for some reason the extruder was going off the nose and coming back, so there was something up with the G code of this model after I sliced it. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but I had it there, and I also had it here on the back. I think it might have to do something with the wipe, but either way, I'm not sure, but is the bottom, you know, so say the top is a little more matte finish than the bottom. The bottom is very, very shiny due to the super plate. A little boat for my son. So this was model, this is CT3D, same guys that made the Benchy. They went ahead and made this, uh, and this is so that it will actually float. So this actually stole this out of the bathtub so that I could film this real quick and I have to put it back so when he takes a bath tomorrow, he's not looking for it. But Again, it looks really, really nice. Nice shine to it, very consistent filament. For only 16 bucks, you honestly can't beat it. Finally, my favorite print for this review is a Winterfell uh, model. So a guy took this, this is Game of Thrones, for those of you who don't know, and the guy modeled this off the title scene, which is a lot of gears and moving parts that build up and build these castles, all the different ones. And again, this happens to be Winterfell of House Stark. So there is their sigil right there, the wolf. And this is a truly amazing print. I don't think I can zoom in well enough to get the details, but the bottom was printed in the silver and the top was just the, uh, f uh, what was that one? That was the Ro uh, AO Robotics uh, Gold PLA. But I just wanted to do the silver super consistent all around. This is on the Prusa i3 Mark III, 
at a 0.1 millimeter layer height. So very detailed, this took like 14 hours to print because, and it's very small, I mean, compared to my hand, very, very small print, but amazingly detailed. Oh yeah, I did print a, a big old vase. This is a retro rocket vase. Uh, I printed the one without the hole in the middle. My wife yelled at me, so I need to drill a hole in the bottom of this one so that it can drain. But uh, yeah, I just printed a little planter for the kids. I'll probably print this in another color for, so they both can have one, my two older ones, and they can plant their little plants in here. But it's a very cool little, you know, rocket planter. Here's the chain mail stuff that kind of, you know, failed. So this is the bottom layer and the bottom was fine, but when you look at it from the top, you can see all the issues in there and that's all from the bridging. So I'm gonna try this again, either with the, back to Simplify 3D and see if it works or try another printer and see what happens. But I really wanna get this to work because I think this will be fun to start printing. And I had a little snake here, I forgot about this guy too. Uh, and it's Rattler snake. So as it's printing, you go ahead and just get something to put in there. So I just snipped off a couple four millimeter long snips of filament, put like five or six in here and you can hear it kind of go around in there. If you have some BBs, it'd probably be better. It'd be a lot louder, but either way, it was a fun little print. My kids enjoyed stealing this one off me again. And again, the filament did great uh, over the, the bridging of these links. The only way to make these links is actually through 3D printing, which makes these kind of models so awesome and I really do like them. But yeah, it was a very cool little snake model based off the Snake C model. Uh, I just add a rattler to it. Again, totally blown away with the quality of this filament. For such cheap filament, it's really nice to see. So if you're in Canada, absolutely buy the heck out of this stuff. It's awesome. But if you're in America, it might be worth your money to buy it. Yes, there are filaments out there that have free shipping. Amazon is loaded with them. But just judging off of this one color, you can buy $200 worth from them and you get free shipping. If you're a serious 3D printer and like this is what you do for a job, this is probably be the stuff that you're gonna wanna buy. It's a reputable company. This is great stuff for such a cheap price. Like you honestly can't go wrong with this and buy $200 worth. If this is what you do for a job, you 3D print things, you have a 3D hubs, well not that anymore, but whatever it is that you do, you produce things in mass quantities and you need to get the most bang for your buck I highly suggest that you guys go up to filmless.ca and you check this out. It might be worthwhile to you. That's it guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed these extra little models. Again, this wonderful model was truly amazing. And if you guys follow me on uh, all the social media things, you'll see a few more very up close detailed pictures of this because I was just so excited when it finally finished. Shared to my friends on WhatsApp, my family on WhatsApp. Like I was sharing with everybody. It was just a very cool print. So make sure you guys follow me on social media so that you can be in tune with some of the behind the scenes of what's going on. So yeah, if you guys like the video, please give a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Talk in the comments down below. Either way, I wanna hear from you guys, how you enjoy my videos, and how you enjoyed this filament. Maybe you liked it, maybe you didn't, let me know. If you guys wanna stay in tune with what's going on, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then hit that bell icon. That way you get an email or push notification, depending on what you're using. Uh, you'll get a notification of new content coming out, whether it's a live stream or a video. So please go ahead and do that. And you're one of the first ones to know what's going on. If you guys want to donate to me financially, the best thing to do right below me is join the Patreon club. So donate me a dollar there. That gives you access to the Patreon feed, the Patreon only feed, and my after show, which is only available to patrons. It's getting a lot of traction. A lot of new people are coming over to that. I appreciate it. And all you need is a dollar to get in. And you can see that. If you donate more, greatly appreciate that as well. If you want to do any one-time donations down below, there's some links for that. And there's a bunch of fit links down there. Update your bookmarks, do your daily shopping with those, and use some of those coupon codes, save yourself some money. And a little slice of what you buy comes here to help me out the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, happy printing.